Hey guys, welcome to my channel Soil and Margaritas. My name is Roxana and I garden in Zone 5 in Central Indiana. And uh, it's about that time of the year where my containers are looking a little bit sad. Most of my annuals uh, are done for the season. Some things um, I need to move into areas of my garden if there were perennials that bloom in the summer. But um, I gotta be honest, I don't do a lot of fall stuff when it comes to my containers. I don't even do, other than pumpkins, I don't really do a lot of fall decor. So uh, this year, because most of my stuff is done in containers, I took the opportunity and I just went and grabbed a few things from my local nursery. You'll see a bunch of other stuff here in a minute. Uh, but these urn, the, the annuals and the other stuff that were here, they were definitely done for the season. So I'm pulling everything else. The middle piece that was here, I believe that I can keep that as a houseplant. I'm gonna have to find like a cute um, container that I can keep inside. Don't have a lot of plants inside uh, because I don't really tend to them very well. But I'm gonna try this year and see what I can keep inside. And um, these hookeras, uh, I just love the colors of these hookeras. And right here, this container is on the east side of my house. Um, the neighbor's house is right next door. So it gets somewhat a little bit of uh, sun during the day until the sun is completely on the other side on the west side and i am i am just loving all the colors of these hookahs i got a bunch of them for the containers that i'm going to be doing here next my idea is that at the end of the the fall i am going to get all of these out of the containers and i'm going to keep them where they're going to be and i have a fun project for that as well you guys so uh, make sure to come back and check my other videos. So let me show you what else I have on the back. This place is quite a mess. Um, if you saw the tour, the garden tours that I show you uh, when these guys were blooming and they were at their best, uh, they were amazing. But things are overgrown already. Uh, the heat, the lack of water didn't help these plants whatsoever. I already collected seeds from the things that I wanted to collect seeds from and other things, my gosh, like the sweet, sweet alyssum. I mean, this thing is completely fried. So the biggest thing right now is getting all of these plants out. I am going to try to save as much potting mix as I can because this is fresh potting mix from the spring. Um, but if I can't save anything that I have plenty, and the biggest thing is just clearing up stuff and um, figuring out how I'm going to layer all of the plants that I have for this spot right here. Even though I am decorating for fall, I am not really using a lot of normal fall colors. Uh, I am trying to go just like a little bit dark. Like I'm going to keep this uh, sweet vine potato here on my window bags because I think they're still doing great. I might give it a little bit of a trim for the things that are struggling. But other than that, it's just cleaning and keeping things somewhat looking decent. So let's get. So I kind of went a little bit crazy 
um, purchasing some plants uh, for this back corner here and now that I'm looking at them and how many I have I wonder if I have way too many I'm not sure uh, but I am going to put a bunch of containers together with a combination of these grasses and full grass and other annuals here and then you'll see what kind of plants I have and then you'll also see how I kind of put my thoughts together for this uh, area over here I know that I want a combination of a bunch of them. I know that I want them all together, darks and greens and reds uh, and purples of the hookahs, but I am not really sure how they're all going to work out. So I'm going to put the containers together and then um, I'll show you each plan as I use it. As I was moving the container with the two tomato plants, I think one of the tomatoes was past, past due and it was rotten because I fell it all over me. It was kind of cooling it off a little bit, but I can smell it a little, so I'm gonna have to go change my shirt. These right here are these gorgeous, gorgeous hookahs called Black Pearl. Look at that. The underneath of them are like a, this dark purple, but the top is like, almost like a really deep dark green. So I am going to try, uh, maybe I'll fit two in here. I don't think that I can fit a third one here.
So it is finally done. It took me about a couple of days to get all of these containers set up the way that I wanted them. And um, the biggest thing is just deciding what plants I want with what plants together in one container. Basically, I started with these two containers, these two lovely teal containers that I found on sale at one of my local nurseries and I took it from there. In all of the combinations here, I use annuals, perennials, I use some grasses and even a uh, one thing that I started from seed, which I'll show you in a minute. But as you can tell, I use a lot of dark colors, burgundies, reds. Uh, I found some red moms, some just regular red moms. I don't, I don't even have a tag for a company, but they look lovely with everything else going on here. Uh, I think that the biggest thing that uh, people are afraid of when they start combinations of containers is just not knowing what to put together. I don't really consider myself a professional in putting containers together. If I like a plant, then it goes in a container. Uh, if I like two or three plants together, they go in a container and I pretty much don't care if one of them is a perennial, the other one is a grass or the other one is an annual. I think the number one rule that you should have in your garden when it comes to what plants to use is if you like them, then go for them. Obviously you have to keep in mind, you know, do they like sun, do they like shade, uh, when are they going to bloom, all of that good stuff. But don't be afraid of uh, failing at, you know, killing plants. It happens to all of us. I have been doing gardening for years and I still kill plants all the time. One of the pieces that I found at my local nursery where I went and shot for a few plants um, is this millet grass and it's an annual and look at the gorgeous blooms. Aren't they amazing? Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to use it here uh, because it's one of those things where you find plants at the store and you put them together at home, then sometimes they don't look the way that you want them to look. But this guy over here by itself, it looks amazing. I kept the sweet potato vine that I have in the window bags because it just goes well with everything else. But I will be cleaning the dead stuff underneath it uh, just to give it a little bit of um, a better looking view. As you can see, I use a lot of containers that I already had in my garden. I use basket, metal containers, and this guy over here, you guys, this is my lemongrass that I started from seed. It's doing amazing in the container where I put it. And um, I first, I have this other grass over here, a proven winter grass. I had two of them and I thought I'll put one there and then one over here in this corner. But when I look at them together, I just didn't want it. I just didn't like the look. So I thought I need something tall there. And as I look around, uh, I know another spot in my garden where I'm going to use clean stuff and this guy was going to be by itself. So I thought I'm just gonna grab that and when I put it here, it was just perfect. And it looks and it smells when, once you break the leaves, it smells amazing, just amazing. And some of the, the baskets that I have here, like this guy over here, I use it all year long last year. It stay outside for the winter. And as you could see earlier, when I was putting this together, the bottom piece is already done. Like it's literally coming off. But what I do with my basket is that I don't fill them directly with soil. I use a plastic container inside of it, kind of to keep the soil in and making sure that it doesn't fall apart. Uh, but in this case, I, I still love how it looks like. I am not going to be moving it around. So if it stays there and I use water, I think it's just going to hold nicely. And one of the things that I love to use for making layers of my containers is, is just using things like plain stands, little tables, or even bricks over here in this container specifically, if I would have just put the plastic container in there directly, it was going to be just way too low. So I needed to pull it up a little bit and I have four bricks in this container to kind of just push it up and give me that height that I need here. And the same thing I have going in that container over there at the end, uh, because I needed the container just to be a little bit higher up. And the table that I have back here, is holding this container and that metal container. So it gives it a nice look, in my opinion. Um, and I, I really enjoy all of the combinations that I have. I have a grass here that is a proven winter grass. Um, when it's over, I will be putting it in the ground. I don't know if I'll have good luck with it because 
I think the grasses need to be established before winter. So I don't know if it's going to have enough time to do that, but uh, I'll try it and see how it does. One of the things that I enjoy about having plants in containers and putting combinations like this together is that if I don't like a combination of one that, um, I don't know, in a corner or in the middle where I think that they don't work together, is that I can easily just take those plants out or take a couple of plants out and um, replace it with something else. Like this guy over here, I originally had a couple of sweet potato vines and the place just, this corner right here just kind of look empty. So I took those vines out and I put a couple of these mums, these red mums, and I think that it works better from my perspective. And I know that things might just fill out a little bit um, more. These mums are not gonna get like super huge and the hookeras, all of the hookeras that I have here are perennials, so they are not going to do too much growing in the containers because it's towards the end of the season. And uh, as long as I just keep them water, they're going to do fine. I'm not even going to fertilize them uh, for the rest of the year because they'll, they'll be fine. If you guys remember this container, I started it kind of late in the summer. I found three corms of these elephant ears. They're not the gigantic ones, they're just the regular size, I guess, but they're pretty big. And then I put a bunch of seeds of nasturtiums at the bottom. And you can tell that uh, some of the nasturtiums are being really shaded and they're like really leggy, but that's okay. I, I am really happy with how this container came out because honestly, I wasn't expecting the elephant ears to perform this well and this quickly and I am just enjoying them and I am trying not to get my little angel here cover. All of the Victoria blue salvias that I had here they were like literally like this tall so what I did is that I just cut them down and you can see some of new growth that is happening here and I am honestly like super excited about that. Hopefully um, they do well maybe they'll bloom for the rest of the years we'll see. I have those elephant ears and anastortions in a tall container and I have them sitting on a plant stand that I have there. It's metal so it should hold well uh, but that gives it that height that I need here so that everything else in front of it is just kind of covering that part so you won't even know that I have a plant stand back there. And I don't have the name for this huge hooker as that I already had in this container. Uh, I had these for the summer over there. They got a little uh, burned by the sun because they're in full sun, but um, just giving them a little cleanup does the trick and keep them with enough water. I think they perform well. I don't have a name. I don't remember. I didn't keep a tag, but my gosh, I just love the color of hooker as, and I got definitely, I got plenty of them. Uh, in, all of these containers here that I think I'm just gonna have plenty to do the project that I have going on. So I think that it's about to rain. Uh, it's getting really cloudy and I did feel a couple of drops and the mosquitoes are crazy. Um, but I gotta make sure that these containers have plenty of water and I gotta just do a little bit of cleanup around because I made a mess putting things together here and there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, I would love if you guys consider subscribing. Make sure to give it a like, leave me a comment telling me if you enjoy it or if you have any questions. I think that I cover everything here um, that I can possibly think. But if not, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. So thank you for being here, you guys. And until the next video.